As with all heat pump systems, your Nibby system incorporates Legionella protection. It's a factory set feature which is set to come on once every seven days and is referred to by Nibby as a periodic increase. We can make alterations to that frequency here. We can see it's been activated. We can see it's coming on every seven days. We can see the start time is at midnight. The next increase is due in a couple of days time. So we can alter all of this. We can have it every day if we like. We can change the start time and we can turn it off and on. Our recommendation is to leave it activated and for it to occur every seven days as per factory settings. If you want to make adjustments to your hot water, press I want to adjust my hot water. From here you can either give a temporary boost to the system if you have guests staying for example, in which case you would press I need more hot water temporarily, just for a little while or let me set the time myself. So we're going to choose just for a little while. And here we can see that by pressing that we've activated a one-off increase in the amount of hot water, which means that the heat pump will divert what it's doing to hot water mode to increase the stored temperature of hot water. Press the OK button to go back to the main menu and that setting will take effect. If you want to make fundamental changes to your hot water settings, press the I want to adjust my hot water button. Here you have two more options. I no longer need more hot water, which gives you the choice to cancel the boost that you selected in the previous setting. Or the second option is my hot water demand has changed, which means that you can change the comfort mode of your hot water system. So that's from auto, which is a mode where it learns your usage patterns and adjusts the system's operation accordingly. Small, which is the lowest setting, this basically means that your water is stored at around 52 to 53 degrees or large, which means the water is stored closer to 60 degrees, which effectively gives you a larger capacity of hot water. If you want to make a quick adjustment to your heating, then press the I want to adjust my heating button. From here you can simply turn off the heating, which means the system will run purely in hot water mode, or you can change the temperature during heating. So if we press that button, we'll be alerted to the fact that we've already got a schedule set up that dictates the time and temperatures at which the heating system operates. So if we want to go further with that, we press OK. And then we would need to travel to the fourth part of the menu, to the scheduling section, and alter the schedule there. If you don't want to alter the schedule in the fourth section of the main menu, then you would press, I want to switch off the heating. And that would give you three further options. One is set the current outdoor temperature as the limit, which means that you will continue working according to, according to weather compensation mode. The first one is, yes, set the current outdoor temperature as the limit, which means that you would continue working according to weather compensation mode. The second button is, yes, but let me set the temperature, which if we press that, we can simply set an indoor temperature which limits the heat to which the heat pump will heat the house. So here we can see it's set to 17 degrees. We can set it permanently, regardless of schedule, to anything up to 40 degrees. On the first screen of your VVM system, you will see there's a button which says show more information about the note. So there may be several update notes available from time to time. And if you press this button, you'll be able to see what's available. So here we can see there's an update available, which will update the software, which is definitely worth doing. Press that if you have that displayed. The next section of the menu refers to the heating system. And at a glance, it displays two things. One of which is the desired room temperature here on the right, which as you can see is 20.5 degrees. And on the left is the current room temperature, which is 21.5 degrees. So this heat pump won't be in operation at the moment because the demand has been satisfied. If at any point you want to temporarily increase the desired temperature, you need to press this white square on the right hand side and either scroll up or down to select a new temperature. This will be in operation until the next switching point in your set schedule, at which point it will revert back to any previously set temperatures. In the third section of, of your menu, you can make quick adjustments to your hot water settings. 
At a glance, we can see that the current stored temperature is 54 degrees. It might be that we want more hot water at short notice, in which case we would press the more hot water button. That's going to take it temporarily into large mode, which means that the water will be heated closer to 60 degrees, giving you a greater usable capacity of hot water. We can press cancel to stop that and it will revert back to normal operation. The fourth section of the menu gives you the opportunity to change the heating schedule or to set a holiday programme. To set a holiday programme, start by pressing the holiday button and select create new. You'll be asked for a start date, which we will choose as today, and then a finish date, which we'll set as tomorrow. And then you move to the third section of that menu, which then asks you for a temperature that you want to maintain in the house during that set holiday period. So typically you'd want it lower so that you weren't wasting energy, but not so low that you had a big job to reheat the house when you got home. So we're gonna choose 15 degrees, and then move to the last section, which asks you to tailor the hot water demand over that period. We're gonna be away, so off, but you can have off, small, medium, large, or smart control if you have the uplink feature enabled. Lastly, you can name the holiday. We're going to call it test. Press tick to select that and that will now be active. If you want to cancel the holiday mode, go back to this section, press the holiday button and select not active and press the tick button. And that will set the system back into normal operation, which means the heating and hot water schedules that you previously had active. To make any quick alterations to your heating schedule, press the schedule button and you'll be presented with the various switching points of your system. So here we can see today, the overnight setting is for the system to heat until the house reaches 21 degrees C and that will occur between midnight and five in the morning. So we can see that's turned on at the moment because of the tick symbol, but we can turn that off. It will then work according to the ne next switching point, which is the heating mode, 21 degrees C again, from five in the morning to 10.30 at night. Simply press it again to turn the overnight setting back on. If you want to make fundamental changes to your heating mode, whether it's changing the set temperature of the overnight section or the heating section, you need to press the plus button here and you'll enter the deeper level of the menu that allows, to make, allows you to make more changes. In this section of the menu, we can make changes to the heating period and the overnight period. If we start with the heating period, we can currently see that it's set to operate at 21 degrees C. So the house won't heat above 21 degrees C. If we press that, we can also see that during that time, the hot water has been enabled. We can see that the hot water has been enabled to operate according to the medium comfort level. We can alter that by pressing the button in that way and either turning it off, selecting small, medium or large. If we make any changes, then we need to use the tick button to confirm those. If we press the heating button, we can change the desired set temperature from 21 degrees, which it is now, to anything such as 17 degrees for a nighttime setback or 22 degrees if you like the house a little bit hotter. Similarly, we can make the same alterations to the overnight segments by pressing the overnight button. We can see here that hot water in the overnight segment has been disabled completely. If we press heating, we can see that the heating system at night is still going to maintain the same temperature of 21 degrees which again, we can alter in the same way by pressing that button, altering the temperature, and using the tick button to accept any changes. In the same section of the menu, any previously set holidays, we can also enable by pressing the holiday button. We can see our previously set up test holiday here. So we can now activate that or deactivate it. Lastly, in the scheduling section, we can alter the time at which the heating and overnight phases are activated. We have a seven day program here. So if we start with Monday by pressing it, 
we can see that we can then use these buttons to shift the on or off times either earlier or later in the day depending on what, what we want and the same at the other end of the phase we can either have that turn off or on earlier or later. We can duplicate this setting here by pressing these buttons and filling in all of the days that will simply mirror any settings in this section of the menu to all seven days. If we press tick to accept again everything is set according to the settings that we chose. We can see therefore that on Monday we have the heating mode selected to be on between 5.30 in the morning and 9.30 at night and the overnight mode to be on between 9.30 at night and 5.30 in the morning and this is repeated for all days. If you wanted to extend your heating phase during the daytime on a weekend for example you would press the heating segment next to Saturday and you could then either use these buttons to slide left and right to select a new time so that represents the beginning and the end of the segment or use the up and down arrows next to the time shown below to make any alterations. Once you're happy with your changes press the tick button and they will come into effect. The last section of your menu is the energy log which gives you your coefficients of performance. So we can see the top value is the amount of energy produced in kilowatt hours by the heat pump. Mm. The bottom value is the amount of energy used by the heat pump in kilowatt hours. So we can see that we've got the desired ratio of roughly three to one here.